Former Vice President Joe Biden is not yet saying if he will run for president, but he does claim he is the most qualified for the job. The 76-year-old Democrat made the comment yesterday during a book tour stop in Montana. He said the issues facing the nation today are the same ones he's been working on for a lifetime. And he added that he will make a decision about the 2020 race within the next two months. Yeah, that report was made last December 6th. So what happened a couple of months later? Nothing. February 6th came and went. That was two months later. So let's take a look at much later than February 6th, February 26th, the end of February, and see where Joe Biden's uh, nun campaign is at. And uh, I want to make sure that if we do this, and we're, we're, we're very close to getting to a decision, that I am fully prepared to do it. He went on to say, I have not made the final decision, but don't be surprised. It sounds like he's getting in. Right, it sounds like he's getting in. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see what happens. No, it, it doesn't sound like he's getting ready to run. What it sounds like is he's getting ready to continue kicking the can down the road. So what happened was, is uh, by middle of March, they decided, oh, oh, okay, uh, we're going to make the announcement by Easter, by Easter. Okay, today is the Monday before Easter. Has anybody out there heard anything about some sort of Joe uh, Biden announcement this week? No. Or how about for next week? Not really. And by the way, that's the latest. They're going to say sometime after Easter. That's what we're hearing now, sometime after Easter. So, again... The can is being kicked down the road. And the reason for this can kicking down the road is Joe Biden knows there's something hanging over him. And guess what? It's not all that creepy Me Too stuff recently. Uh, I think he could have uh, get, gotten by with that, maybe. But the big thing is the Ukraine. Ukraine. And his specifically the the connection between the biggest natural gas company in Ukraine, uh, that's Burisma Holdings, and his son, Hunter Biden. And what happened was, just real briefly, uh, Hunter Biden was uh, involved with that Burisma Holdings to the extent that he actually was on the board of directors of it. Now, watch what Biden himself, Joe Biden himself said about uh, in an investigation by the Re Ukrainian special uh, prosecutor general into the corruption of Burisma Holdings and what he did to interfere with it. And I went over, I guess, the 12th, 13th time to Kiev, and, uh, and I was going, supposed to announce that there was another billion dollar loan guarantee. And I had gotten a commitment from Poroshenko and from uh, Yatsenyuk that they would take action against the state prosecutor, and they didn't. So they said they had. They were walking out to press conference. Said, "No, nah, I said I'm not going to. We're not going to give you the billion dollars." They said, "You have no authority. You're not the president." The president said, "I said call him." <laughs> I said, "I'm telling you, you're not getting the billion dollars." I said, "You're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here." And I think it was what six hours. I looked. I said, "I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money." Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> got fired. And they put in place someone who was solid at the time. Well, yeah, that's right. He actually interfered to the extent of getting the prosecutor general who was uh, investigating uh, the uh, corruption fired. And uh, can you imagine that? We hear a lot about, oh, oh uh, involvement of the Russians in the America uh, here in our government. Well, guess what? The Obama administration was interfering in the government of Ukraine to the extent that they actually got a a prosecutor general fired because he was investig uh, he was investigating the corruption of a company that Biden's son was involved with. Now, uh, the uh, he mentioned that uh, Biden. If you notice, Biden mentioned that the uh, the prosecutor general that they got rid of uh, was replaced by somebody who was solid. Well, 
unfortunately for Biden and his son, that that he proved correct. That man was uh, solid. It was uh, Yuri uh, Lutsenko was his name, and let's let's hear from Yuri Lutsenko and the amazing amount of interference by the American ambassador to the Ukraine. From the first meeting with the U.S. ambassador in Kiev, this ambassador gave me a list of people whom we should not uh, prosecute. And uh, my response was that it's, it is inadmissible. Nobody in this country, neither our president, nor our parliament, nor ambassador, would stop, stop me from prosecuting whether there is a crime. You're saying that our ambassador, Ms. Ivanovich, came to you and told you people she did not want you to pursue even if there was evidence of criminality. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, at that time, we had a case for the embezzlement of the U.S. government uh, technical assistance worth uh, $4 million, US dollars. and in that regard, we had this dialogue. And now you know the real reason why Biden continues to keep kicking that can down the road because he knows once he makes that decision to run the spotlight investigative spotlight <coughs> is going to be solidly on himself and on his son Hunter if the prosecutor's not fired you're not getting the money if the prosecutor's not fired you're not getting the money if the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Subscribe to the Dummy Funnies now!